Max Fisher became known as Mr. YMCA, promoting the Saginaw landmark for 56 of his 81 years. Fisher was an instructor, manager, administrator, and participant at the YMCA, working out at the facility and honing his racquetball skills. That he was identified with the Y for having such a leadership and instrumental role at the Y, and the thousands of people that he knew and who knew him uh, was because of his role with the Y. Co uh, continuous advocate, continuous uh, cheerleader for the YMCA. He certainly earned uh, Mr. YMCA as a nickname. Max Clay Fisher was born September 29, 1926 in Maryland, graduating from Lemoyne High School in Pennsylvania. He served in the Marine Corps during World War II and was stationed in China. After graduating with a bachelor's degree in physical education from Otterbein College in 1951, he worked at the Columbus YMCA in Ohio. In 1956, Fisher was hired as the Director of Health and Physical Education at the Saginaw YMCA, which was located at 220 North Michigan. Some people come to the YMCA to work out their bodies. Some people come to the YMCA to work out their problems. So I think that Max knew before the National Y coined the phrase spirit, mind, and body, I think Max already knew that we have the unique opportunity to work holistically with people and to you know, help them um, as individuals in spirit, mind, and body. In 1957, a group of Saginaw leaders that included Harry Hawkins, Edward Morley, and Richard Garber started a project for a new YMCA with Spence Brothers as the general contractor. He could plan and could see needs ahead of time. And he was so committed to community. And I think the Y has really um, evolved into a community-based, community-focused organization because of the efforts of Max and others of his, his generation. The Y is a real important part of our community and, and so it makes sense that Max's vision uh, would be realized. On September 11th, 1960, the new YMCA was dedicated at 1915 Fordney Street. Fisher oversaw programs that included basketball, softball, band, rifle, Saturday night dance, youth mobile, arts and crafts, summer playground days, and the detached worker program. Um, so during that transformative time, and there was a surge of interest in the Y, there was a surge of participation and membership, and, and Max was at the center of it all. So it was a time to create new programs, to build up new programs, and opportunities for people to connect. And, but the center of it all was to bring small groups together and to support and encourage one another in instructional classes. In 1968, Fisher was listed as the Associate Director for Membership Residents food and maintenance for the YMCA facilities, which also included summer camps at Camp Ogamaki, Camp Iroquois, Camp Timbers, Camp Kiwai, and Camp Harwood. As I was a young adult, I worked at Camp Timbers, and Max was not directly involved with Camp Timbers, but uh, participated and loved it uh, as far as the space and what we did and what we do at Camp for Youth. In 1968, Fisher also became the chairman of the Martin Luther King Jr. Scholarship to help underprivileged youngsters with future Saginaw High and NFL star Terry McDaniel, one of the recipients. In 1971, Fisher and the YMCA teamed with the Michigan Department of Corrections to become a halfway house for prisoners. Uh, what I understand is a transitional program from uh, being adjudicated to being a, a private individual citizen back in the community. And so that's really important because you develop peer groups, you develop role models and uh, working relationships with those who can just help you make good decisions and be on the right path. Fisher initiated work release programs for the more than 60 prisoners housed on two floors of the YMCA. Three other floors housed 76 non-inmates who rented rooms at the YMCA. These were residents that lived, quote, above where we worked out. So we would work out on either the first or second floor, and these people lived above that. And, and they would come down and you would see them. You know, they had a nice little cafeteria area and you could tell that they were uh, benefiting greatly from the shelter and the food from the Y. During Fisher's tenure at the YMCA, the facility added a second swimming pool, four racquetball courts, a women's locker room, and an enlarged men's athletic club. 
Fisher, who retired in 1989 after 33 years as the YMCA Associate Director, was also a track and field official at Saginaw Valley State University and post president of the Carlton Athletic Association and the Carlton Lions Club. It was his sincerity, his enthusiasm, and his love for people. You could tell Max loved being among others. Um, I, I suspect that Max probably uh, always had a to-do list and always had places to go because he just seemed to be energized when he was out among others. Fisher died in 2008. He was 81 years old. He left behind his wife, Caroline, and four children, Mark, Craig, Cheryl, and Michelle.